Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Capital Area School Development Association Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Sarah and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to tape your questions to our presenters at any time. This is, this is just one of uh, different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the recorded versions that will be available at strivescan.com backslash C-A-S-D-A-N-Y. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, University of Southern Maine. Good afternoon, folks. Give me a second while I share my screen. All right. Fantastic. So hello, my name is Julia Gurney. I'm the Senior Associate Director at the University of Southern Maine. Um, and as our name indicates, we are located in beautiful Southern Maine. And the picture that is before you is going to be um, looking out onto Back Cove in Portland, downtown Portland. So just a few fast facts about the University of Southern Maine, which I think gives you a pretty good overview as to who we are as an institution. 8,500 uh, undergraduate, graduate, and law students make up our population at USM. So we are a medium-sized university for the New England area. And if you're coming from the capital area, Albany area of New York, um, we're about a four-hour drive. Um, so pretty easy right along the Mass Pike and then up on 95 um, to Maine. We're a public university in the UMaine system, 13 to one student to faculty ratio, 54 majors, 79 minors, 28 graduate degrees. One of the more unique facets of our university is that we do have three campuses located, located in the Southern Maine region, which we'll talk about a little bit more and how that makes our university unique. Um, but because we're located in one of the most metropolitan areas in the state of Maine, we have a lot of access when it comes to host sites for clinicals and internship experiences. Average incoming GPA was about a 3.31 for high school students in the past year. So the University of Southern Maine does have three locations, one being in Portland, Maine, one being in Gorham, and one being in Lewiston. And so when it comes to the University of Southern Maine, if you apply as a student, um, you're going to be applying to the university, not necessarily to one campus or the other. 99% of our students are going to be taking classes in both Portland and in Gorham. And what that truly means for you is that when you are a you know, University of Southern Maine student, you don't have to compromise when it comes to location. Portland being a much more urban metropolitan area, Gorham being much more kind of that quintessential New England college campus and much more rural. So you can have both an urban and rural experience um, within one university without having to choose. And so there are specific academic departments that are housed on each campus, but currently all of our residence halls are located in Gorham until the fall of 2023 when we open our first Portland residence hall available for upperclassmen students. We also do have a regionally located Lewiston uh, main facility that does serve certain specific um, majors and programs as well. When it comes to the academic experience at USM, um, all of our students are gonna participate in a general education requirement or core curriculum, their major and minor courses. But we also recognize with so many students um, and the academic experience here at USM is that so much of what you experience and learn as a student absolutely happens in the classroom but it very much also happens outside of the classroom as well. And so all of our academic de departments have a requirement for internships or external experiences. So you can know what you're getting into when it comes to a future career path, but it also allows you to eliminate something that you might not be super uh, excited about for you to pursue when you graduate. Um, we also have ample opportunities for students to participate in undergraduate research as well as, a, as an honors program. So when it comes to tuition and fees, we truly are a university that believes that going to college should be an affordable experience and not something that is going to um, strap you with a lot of debt when you graduate. For out-of-state students, uh, our total cost is about $36,000 a year, and that's everything, tuition, fees, room and board. And we do offer generous merit-based scholarships for anyone who's applying um, in our process. There's no separate application, no box to check off. Um, and typically students who are above a 3.0 GPA are receiving a merit scholarship scholarship anywhere from $6,000 to $12,000. And those are renewable year to year. So to talk about the application checklist, again, we truly believe that we do not want this to be a process that's filled with barriers. We require a common application and a high school transcript. 
Those are the two main things that we're going to need to give you an admissions decision. And we do have an early action non-binding deadline of December 1st, but we do work on a rolling basis. So once your application does come in, we'll make a decision um, and roll that decision right back out to you. We are $0 to apply to, so there's no application fee, and we are SAT or ACT optional for all academic programs. We'd love to learn a little bit more about you, though, so make sure that if you do want to submit an essay or recommendation letters, we would highly encourage them because we do take a lot of pride in the community that we build within the application process. One of the most exciting things that I do like to talk about is our reinvestment in our students and in our campus. Um, coming for the fall of 2023, we are we actually just broke ground this past spring on a brand new Portland campus development project, which includes a brand new student center, dining hall, career and employment hub, as well as an almost 600 person bed upperclassmen living um, that includes apartments and suite style living um, right in downtown Portland. So we are really excited to once again reinvest in the success um, and uh, more buildings in our on our Portland campus. Um, but also invest in the success of our students as well. So feel free to connect with me, um, julia.gurney at main.edu, and I will also include that in the chat. Um, but there's several ways to connect with us uh, throughout the process. We're here to help, and we're excited for you to be here. Thanks. Thank you so much. Next up, we have University of New Haven. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Kareen Murjavi. I am the University of New Haven's Director of Community Outreach, and I'm going to be taking us through a really brief, quick overview, uh, trying to highlight a little bit of everything we have to offer. Um, so first to kick off, probably the most exciting thing we've got going on, we just celebrated 100 years at the University of New Haven. Um, over the past 100 years, we've obviously grown a whole lot, um, added a ton of programs, added a ton of different students on campus. Um, the newest building, our academic feature, is the Burgamy Center for Science, Technology, and Innovation. Spaces, study spaces, um, pretty much where you can slide around glass walls, make what you need of the space and what you're working on. We also have an incredible communication uh, lab and facility in there, Black uh, and academic programs as well as varsity team. Um, to kick off also with a little bit about where we are located, uh, we're probably going to be about a two hour drive um, from your region to get to campus. Uh, we are very accessible off the highway systems. We are right down on the coastline of Connecticut and we're more of a suburban type of feel. Uh, we're about 10 minutes outside of the city of New Haven, which has a number of other universities and colleges, so you will get to meet other students and there is a ton going on in the downtown New Haven area as far as theaters, museums, restaurants. Uh, again, we have the coastline right there, so beach is about two miles, very walkable from campus. Uh, and then we are between, so New York City, Boston, Providence. So as well as the fun side of things, when you're looking to do your internships or kind of those first steps into your first job after graduating or professional and graduate programs, you are right outside of all these metropolitan areas. To tell you a little bit about those statistics, so we are a smaller campus and that's going to mean something different for each of you depending on what size maybe high school that you're coming from uh, but we have about 5,000 undergraduate students on campus uh, with over 120 different academic programs to choose from uh, drills down to about 20 students per class so smaller class sizes and those will be most of your intro classes um, once you get into your junior senior year you might have about 10 15 students in each class um, in addition to undergraduate programs that you're thinking about, we also have minors and certificates to add on top of that, as well as graduate programs if you would like to stay with us and pursue your master's degree. Uh, on the fun side of things, I mean, definitely follow us on social media, see what our students are posting, different events going on, but we have over 150 different clubs and organizations to get involved with as well. Thinking about the investment, and I'll talk about scholarships shortly, um, you definitely want to make sure that when you're graduating that you're going to have that job opportunity, that, that network that you've created while you're in school with us. Uh, over 95% of our class of 2019 grads were employed in their field of study within six months of graduation, and then upwards to 97% within a year of graduation. So our students are definitely finding success. Uh, our Career Development Center was actually ranked 17th in the entire country, so we're incredible incredibly proud of the support that they provide the students. Uh, to share a little bit about who your peers are gonna be on campus. Uh, we do have most of our students coming from out of state, usually New York, just as yourselves, and then Massachusetts, New Jersey, Rhode Island. 
Um, we are primarily a residential campus as well. So students are hanging out in the evenings, over the weekends, and over the breaks. And to just briefly share the different colleges we split all the programs into, uh, we split them into five. So we have College of Arts and Sciences, Pompeii College of Business, Henry C. Lee College of Criminal Justice and Forensic Sciences, Artagliatella College of Engineering, and our School of Health Sciences. And again, over 120 programs, so definitely jump on the website to take a look through all of those. And when you apply to the university, you apply directly into your major of choice. Uh, these are just a few examples of some of the internships, some of the more familiar names our students have gone on to. Uh, we also tie in service learning, undergraduate research opportunities, co-op work during the semester, as well as study abroad opportunities to, to get you hands on and build that resume. Again, for student life, jump onto social media, follow us, see what the students are doing. Um, residential options as well. Everything is nice and new, is updated. As I mentioned, we're primarily a residential campus, so we definitely invest a lot into the spaces that you hang out and that you're going to be living in on campus. Um, for the fun stuff, in addition to the clubs, organizations, religious groups, professional organizations, uh, we have 18 varsity sports. We're at the D2, so Div Division II level for all those varsity offerings. Uh, we also have a number of club sports and then just recreational sports as well. To give you a brief overview of the application process, we try to keep it simple, exclusively through the common application. Uh, and then we also do require your high school transcript as well as a letter of recommendation. Your essay, we're hoping that you do submit that through Common App, but it is overall optional. Uh, and then SAT scores, ACT scores are also optional for us. Uh, if you have taken the test, please do feel comfortable submitting your scores. Uh, we will also super score if you've taken a, them a few times. If you submit your scores and for any reason they might not be your strongest and might impact scholarship eligibility, no harm with that. We, we will be able to disregard them through the application process. So we want you to feel comfortable and confident submitting your materials. And we have a few different deadlines. We are early decision as well as early action. The first set of deadlines do come up in December. So all of our senior students should be working on those applications to be able to submit them through shortly. In addition, we offer a number of scholarships, $10,000 to $28,000 annually, and a few stackable awards on top of that. And then currently, you should also be kicking off with FAFSA information to make sure that you're going to try to qualify for any need-based aid you might be eligible for. And that gives you a very brief overview of the University of New Haven. Uh, I'll provide my contact information in the chat as well. Thank you so much. Next up, we have University of Hartford. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Nicole. I'm an admissions counselor at the University of Hartford. So just kind of a brief overview of the university itself. We are located in West Hartford, Connecticut, and we are in between both Boston and New York City. It's about a two hour drive to both of those cities. Um, so we do have a lot of sponsored trips to those locations, as well as internship opportunities. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Just want to make sure. Yep, you sound great. Okay. Um, so as for our student population, we're made up of about 6,500 students. About 4,500 of those students are undergrad students. And we have an eight to one student to faculty ratio. So our average class size is about 17 to 20 students. Um, you know, pretty similar to a high school environment. You don't have to worry about 100 plus lecture halls or anything like that. Um, we do a lot of collaborative work and group work within our classroom. So like I said, not all of our classes are lecture style, which is great. So the way that our programs are split up are into our seven different colleges. So I'm just going to list them off. We have the Hartford Art School, the Hart School, the Barney School of Business, the College of Engineering, Technology, and Architecture, the College of Education, Nursing, and Health Professions, Hillier College, and the College of Arts and Sciences. We offer over 100 undergrad programs at the University of Hartford, and we have 64 graduate programs. Um, so those, these schools are kind of just how those programs are broken up. 
if you want to check out um, our majors, they are listed on our website. Um, and we do have a lot of new and growing programs at the university. So to just list a few of them, um, we introduced occupational therapy this year. A couple of years ago, we introduced nursing, which is a huge one. Um, and we have some engineering programs growing, growing as well, so, such as our robotics engineering and our aerospace engineering that we just introduced. So kind of going off of those growing health professions and engineering professions as well, we actually just introduced a brand new academic building on campus. It's called the Hersey Center. It opened this fall. Half of it is gonna be dedicated to our health professions and the other half is gonna be dedicated to our advanced engineering students. Um, so we have a ton of simulation labs um, in this building. Um, you know, we have hospital beds with practice dummies. Um, we have a wind tunnel lab for engineering students, a high bay lab. Um, so we have a ton of state of the art technology in this building that a lot of our students are gonna be using um, to kind of feel like they're, they're in the workforce in those simulated labs, which is great. As for our support system on campus, um, we have a ton of different opportunities um, for you guys to explore, you know, whether that's um, internship or job opportunities in our career center. Um, we also have a study abroad office, so we do offer study abroad. Um, we also have an Office of Student Engagement and Inclusion, um, so that's going to be the place you go to if you're looking for any um, clubs or organizations on campus. Um, I'll talk about our clubs and organizations on the next slide, um, but that's kind of the place that students go to if, if they're trying to explore um, those clubs and organizations. Um, we have um, housing guaranteed all four years at the university. Um, we're actually offering in-person tours right now, so we're really encouraging students to get onto campus to check out our different um, um, types of housing. We have two different styles for freshman housing, and then after your freshman year, we have a couple other options, um, such as apartment style, suite style, double singles. Um, so typically students do stay on campus all four years. Um, I was actually a student at the university myself, um, and I, I loved living in that apartment style, kind of a homey lifestyle. Um, and then dining services as well. We do have a lot of dining options for students um, on campus. We also do have some retail locations on campus, such as a Moe's Southwest Grill, a Subway, um, and a Starbucks in our library. So kind of going back to the clubs and organizations that I was talking about, we offer over 100 clubs on campus, um, you know, ranging from academic clubs to athletic clubs, religious clubs, um, gaming clubs. Um, so we do have a lot of opportunities for you guys. Um, Students in our Heart School of Music, Dance, and Theater also put on over 400 performances a year. Um, we are a pretty large music school. Um, so a lot of those students are, are, are attending those performances. And if you're a University of Hartford student, you can actually attend those shows for free, which is great. Um, then we also do have some athletic clubs as well. And we have 17 um, sports at the collegiate level. So for applying to UHART, um, the requirements that we have, we are live on the Common App, but we also do have a separate University of Hartford application. Um, most students just apply through the Common App though, if they're using it for other colleges. Um, we do require your personal statement or your college essay. And we require at least one letter of recommendation. However, we do strongly suggest that you have two. And we are an SAT and ACT optional school. So you do not have to submit your scores if you don't think they, they um, represent your academic success. For our deadlines, our first early action is November 15th. And our second early action is December 15th. After that, we run on rolling admission. So until all of our programs fill. Um, as for scholarships and financial aid, um, need-based aid, we ask you to fill out the FAFSA. And then for merit scholarships, those are considered at the time of application. Um, and we have the contact information. This is our general admission email. But again, I will put my personal email in the chat box as well. Thank you so much. Next up, we have University of Connecticut. Well, good morning. Good afternoon, as the case may be. Jeremy Krause, Senior Admissions Officer at the University of Connecticut. A lot of information. Feel free to rewatch at a slower speed. About us, we were founded in 1881 as an agricultural school in the lovely town of Storrs, Connecticut. If you haven't come, come visit us. We're conveniently located a half an hour outside of Hartford, 90 minutes from Boston, two hours from New York City. 
We have 19,000 undergrad, but despite that, we are still a 16 to one student to teacher ratio. We have students from 104 different countries in every state in this country. Matter of fact, our entering class of 3,700 had students from 96 different countries, 47% students of diverse background, 50% men, 50% women. Again, this is all done for a dynamic environment. We have 115 majors in nine different schools and colleges, all on our unified campus in stores. We do have some regional campuses. Very briefly, our Stanford campus right outside of New York City is renowned for their financial management program, as that's where financial management is as an industry. Likewise, our Avery Point campus is right on Long Island Sound. Not surprising, that's why we do all of our marine science and coastal studies programs there. But for all intents and purposes, we're talking about stores. We have, of course, our School of Agriculture, Health and Natural Resources, home to our traditional agricultural programs. But we're also connecting people, food, and animals for sustainability. Our dietetic programs, our kinesiology department, our allied health science programs, and of course, animal sciences and pre-vet medicine we do in our School of Ag. We have one of the top schools of business in the direct entry. It's been around since the early 40s. We offer bachelor's, master's, and PhDs. Of course, we have the normal traditional programs, but then we also have some more nuanced majors like urban economics, real estate, and healthcare management. We have one of the top schools of education in the country. In fact, NEAG School of Education is not direct entry. Our students pursue certification in elementary, middle, secondary. We have one of the top special ed programs in the country. We certify in the same accreditation as New York State EBPTA. Our School of Education is a five-year integrated bachelor's master's program as our students need master's degrees because you need a master's degree if you hope to be a teacher. Fact, quick flex, the current Secretary of Education of the United States of America is a UConn grad. Go Huskies. We have our own School of Engineering, of course. It's been around for over 100 years. We go up to a PhD in over a dozen different fields. Our most popular tracks are biomedical, mechanical and computer science, but we have over a dozen at the undergraduate level. We have our own School of Fine Arts. Of course, we have a conservatory on campus. Very nice contrast to all the research to have our own creative side. The University of Connecticut has one of the top dramatic art departments in the country. In fact, UConn has the world's greatest puppetry program. Hopefully, oh, calm down on the other side. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, relax, it's okay, go puppets. Uh, we do music, music education, art and art history. We also do digital media design. We have our College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. That is our largest school on campus from two traditional majors like biology and psychology and communications. But we do everything from American Sign Language to women and gender studies, over 60 different majors. Check it out. We have one of the top schools of nursing in the country. It is a direct entry BSN program. Uh, 100 students form the cohort and are hands on from day one. We also have one of the oldest and most prestigious schools of pharmacy in the country going into our 97th year. It is a six year early insurance program. Any of you still undecided? Well, we embrace that one quarter of our students come in undecided as well. Uh, we will help meet with you and help figure out what the best path for you to pursue is. In fact, UConn also has combined programs, medicine, dental medicine, law and education as we have graduate schools in all four of these areas. These are assurances to our graduate schools before you even complete high school. Of course, we do want you engaged every minute of the day. Your four years at UConn are going to go quick. We have an abundance of experiential opportunities, such as an award-winning honors program, an extensive global learning experiential opportunity, aka study abroad, over 200 programs there. And of course, we have our own dedicated office of undergraduate research. We are one of the largest public research schools in the country. And as a student, regardless of major, whether it's anthropology or accounting, we will give you thousands of dollars of grant money to go out there and produce knowledge, not just consume it. That's the Yukon way. As far as clubs and organizations, last count we had about 750 of them, everything from acapella to yoga and all things in between. We've got people watching clubs, a marching band, a pep band. We've got dance teams. They keep telling me to stop trying out, but I won't. Sports, pretty popular at the University of Connecticut. Maybe you heard something about basketball. I don't know. Maybe 15 NCAA titles that we've won in the last 21 years if you're counting, which of course we are. Besides championship men's and women's basketball, we have 29 other world-class division one athletics, baseball, softball, soccer, football, track. We do a lot. If you're not cut out for D1, we have 35 club teams. And if that's too intense, we have over hundred intramural sports. Compete against your fellow Huskies for fame in a t-shirt that says champion. You can't have too much swag on UConn campus. Maybe you interested in Greek life? Well, we have fraternities and sororities. However, they are not the overwhelming majority. About 15% of our students go Greek. If you want to, great, wear your letters, wear them proudly. And if not, that's fine too. It's not go Greek or go home at UConn. 
In fact, you likely won't go home if you attend the University of Connecticut, not because we hold you hostage, don't be silly, but because our students don't leave on the weekends. People will come and visit you, our population does grow. You would be required to live on campus your first year. However, the majority of students live on campus all four years, over 75% of our student body. We have over hundred resident halls. We cater to every different lifestyle. We've got co-ed, female only, gender inclusive. We've got suites, we've got four apartment complexes. More importantly, we have over 35 different living learning communities. We are a holistic application review. We look at both your cognitive and your non-cognitive qualities. Apply, regular decision only. Our combined programs, their deadline is December 1st. So much information, come visit our website, uconn.edu or come take a tour on campus. Thank you all, good luck and go Huskies. Thank you, UConn. Next up, we have Adelphi University. Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Ryan Foley. I'm an assistant director of admissions here at the university. More importantly, I am a two-time graduate of Adelphi as well. We have around 5,300 undergraduate students and 3,000 grad students. This translates to an average class size of 21 students and a 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio. This makes Adelphi the perfect size to come and make your very own impact, get connected with your professors, your fellow classmates, and really get involved here. You'll notice our students are quite diverse. They come from 64 countries, 43 states, and represent all different backgrounds and walks of life. Our Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion is constantly making sure that our students feel welcome, safe, and represented on our campus. One of my favorite statistics about Adelphi is that 95% of our students are employed or in grad school within six months of graduation. Um, and this is really just showing you that you're having a great experience at the university, but we're committed to your success after. When coming to Adelphi, you can choose to major in one of our 60 plus majors or programs. Students can double major, minor. If you're undecided, that's totally okay too, as every student is paired with an academic advisor who's here to help them throughout their time at Adelphi. Some of our most popular majors across all of our academic schools are visual and performing arts or humanities and sciences. We have our scholar teacher education program for students interested in education, our communication sciences and disorders, as well as exercise science and sports management. Nursing and is one of our most popular majors at Adelphi. We have a state-of-the-art nursing simulation lab and partnerships with local hospitals for your clinicals. We have our uh, School of Psychology, which goes up to the PhD level. Our Robert B. said School of Business, which is AACSB accredited. And students can choose to major in accounting, marketing, finance, human resource management, management, economics, you name it, it's probably there. There's our very own internship office there for students as well. Uh, for a non-business student, you also have access to our Career Center, which helps for all leadership development as well as internship and job placement. And then there's our School of Social Work, which is for students interested in the helping profession and also goes up to the PhD level. On top of your major, we have our Honors College. This is for students looking for a more rigorous course of study. All of our classes are held in a seminar style around a big conference table, and you will be eligible for additional scholarship. There's our Livermore Global Scholars Program if you wanna put a global lens on your education. And our four plus one programs for students who are interested in getting their bachelor's and their master's in just five years. Uh, there are support programs like our Bridges to Adelphi program for students on the autism spectrum. We have our general studies learning community for students who need a bit more structure and support when starting at Adelphi. And then there's our learning resource program for students who are, may have a designated learning disability or learning difference. If you need the support of, a, you don't need the full support of a program, there's always our student access office for any basic needs for accommodation. As I mentioned, we're committed to your success. So we're here to make your education as accessible as it can be. If you're interested in professional studies, we pair with these other prestigious institutions to help get your foot in the door and grant, get you granted an interview. Adelphi students perform very well on these interviews. If you want more information about any of our joint degree programs, scan the QR code in the bottom right here. Um, if you're not interested in these schools but want to go to medical school, law school, or dental school someday, we also have an entire office dedicated to helping students apply to professional studies. My favorite part of any presentation about Adelphi is what makes us unique. Um, as a student, this is what all these things are what really made it such a special experience for me. So we have our hands on learning opportunities in the top two pictures, you can see our uh, stock trading room on campus for our business students. We have our state of the art nursing simulation lab where we have our crash test dummies for nursing students. They'll also work in uh, local partner hospitals for clinical rotations. Our education students will work in local elementary schools and high schools. Uh, our business students have internship and job opportunities built into their education as well as research opportunities for students in the sciences and so many more other opportunities like guest lectures, field trips, and things like that. In the bottom middle, you'll see our orientation leaders, which represent all the things you can do as an Adelphi Panther. 
you can get involved in one of our 90 plus student clubs and organizations, 23 NCAA division sports teams, our club sports teams, you can work on campus, you can live on campus. We have six beautiful residence halls with two different styles of living. I believe I mentioned already, but you can study abroad at Delphi. We've been to six out of the seven continents. We have service-based trips, educational, uh, department-led trips, as well as a traditional semester abroad. And then our location about around Delphi is excellent. Located on Long Island, we can take advantage of beaches and the nicer weather, as well as parks and things in the area. We're located near plenty of shopping malls and other attractions on Long Island. And of course, being on the island, we're just an hour away from Manhattan. So once you're in the city, you can take advantage of all the things the city has to offer, like Broadway shows, restaurants, museums, Central Park, and anything else related to internship and job placements as well. One of the newest and most exciting things is our recently renovated University Center. This always was the center of campus life, but it's even more so now with the renovation came double the dining space, uh, plenty of areas to hang out with friends, a full student lounge, an art gallery that looks like a real Manhattan gallery. We have, uh, and just plenty of other things in the building. And for our coffee lovers, there's always our Starbucks. To complete your application, we'll need a couple things from you. We need either your Adelphi application, uh, which can be the Common App or the Adelphi app. It makes no difference to us, so whatever is easier for you. We need your official high school transcripts. We will be test optional until spring 2023. So if you want to apply with your SAT or ACT scores, we more than encourage you to. But if you didn't get the score you were hoping for, that's not a problem and we won't hold it against you. And to close out your application is one or more recommendation letters from someone who can speak to your ability to be a successful Adelphi student. All of our applications are accepted on a rolling basis. So you can apply at any time, but if you want, we have some deadlines here. Our early action application deadline, if you complete your application by December 1st, we'll make sure to get you a decision by the end of the year, February 1st for a joint degree program. All students are automatically reviewed for merit-based scholarship. This past year reached up to $28,000. Our tuition for a full-time student was around $40,000. You also could be re reviewed for additional scholarships like talent uh, or performing in visual arts and things like that. And we encourage all students to file for need-based aid. Uh, you can contact us at our phone number or email here and definitely follow us on social media. Thank you so much. Next up, we have uh, Casanova College. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Kristen. I am the Associate Dean for Admissions at Casanova College. I'm going to share my screen really quickly. As I said, my name is Kristen. I'm the Associate Dean of Admissions at Casanova College. For those of you who are not familiar with Casanova, we are about 15 minutes southeast of Syracuse, New York. Um, we're about four hours from New York City, about two and a half hours from Albany, and uh, just a couple of hours from Buffalo and Rochester. Um, we are a small private institution in a rural area. Casanova, New York is an absolutely beautiful village that um, I always say really shows off the seasons. And I often say that because of the amount of snow that we see every year. But right now with autumn and the foliage um, in full swing, it's truly beautiful. Our campus community, although it is small with just under 1,000 students, it is incredibly diverse. Um, we do have um, an emphasis on a personalized learning experience. So we want students to be able to have a comfortable learning environment, to have full access to their professors and their advisors and other support services. We do have a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio and our average class size is about 13. Um, we offer 35 majors and 35, a little bit more than minors, they come and go. Um, but we offer uh, programs in art and design, business and management, humanities and natural sciences and social and behavioral sciences. 96% uh, of our students complete at least one internship. Internships are required for all but uh, one of our programs. And there are a few programs that do require two interior design and, and our business programs. We have a 94% employment graduate school rate. We're seeing an increase in the number of students who are seeking uh, graduate studies, but our job placements um, have, been, have remained strong for several years and continue to do so. We are a division three school and we offer a wide variety of men's and women's athletics, everything from soccer, lacrosse, basketball, softball, baseball. And we have a world-class equestrian team where our students compete in hunter jumper, uh, western, and dressage. 
We also have over 50 clubs and organizations. I always tell the students, don't tell me you're bored because there's plenty to do on campus. There's programming every day to keep students active and involved and able to make new friends um, and just stay a very positive um, contributor to the campus. Although we are small, we're incredibly diverse. Um, we work with a significant percentage, about 40% of our students are first generation students. So we do serve that population um, very well. We see them become very successful students on campus and go out and becoming um, very active alumni and doing very well in their careers. But although we're small, well, many times we'll get the question, so all of your students come from your, about you're just a few miles away local and say, absolutely not. Uh, we currently have uh, 23 states and five countries represented on campus. Uh, so we like that it adds to just the diversity of our small community. The Casanova commitment starts with affordability. Um, we want to make sure that students and families when they are seeking out their college options that Casanova College becomes one and just because we are a private school does not seem out of reach despite anybody's financial circumstances. Um, we offer a wide range of scholarships, which I'll explain quickly in a moment, um, but our commitment is to do our best to make it affordable for you. As I mentioned, we have programs in art and design. We have studio art, photography, interior design. We also have fashion merchandising and fashion, uh, excuse me, fashion design. And we also have a very strong visual communications program with uh, concentrations in graphic design, animation, illustration, and interactive design. Our business and management program um, offers students the opportunity to study general, general business and general management, but also have uh, the opportunity to study sport management, hospitality, equine business management, finance, and accounting. Our humanities and natural science, um, we have biology, we have uh, communications, English, a lot of traditional programs, and we also have an individual studies program that is becoming quite popular. Social behavioral science um, is definitely a rock star. We have uh, two criminal justice programs that just thrive every single year. Very strong, inclusive early childhood and elementary education programs, human services, history, social science, and a very strong pre-law program. We have, as I mentioned, uh, outside the classroom, we have students taking part in clubs and organizations, both that are tied to their major, but also special interest. Our athletics, we offer division three, as well as intramural club sports. Uh, students love to do community service. We place an emphasis on giving back to the community. So there's services, community service that students uh, complete both in the village of Casanova, but also in our neighbor in, in Syracuse, New York, where the resources are definitely plenty. We have a study abroad programs uh, with, a, we have the most, I guess the longstanding one is our Canterbury program, where students in their first semester of their junior year will study for their fall semester at uh, Canterbury Christchurch University in Canterbury, England. Very popular, a lot of great experiences, um, and about 30 to 40 students go each year with faculty mentors. We, our newest um, partnership is with the universe, University in Nagoya, Japan. And some people say, well, Nagoya, where's that? It's where Toyota headquarters are, are located. Um, and we have an exchange program. So each year we have had students from Japan come to Casanova and we have sent the same number of students there. That is a quickly growing program. And we are also currently working um, with partnerships in Sweden, Belgium, um, Greece and Italy um, for additional options for students to study abroad. We try to make the application process serious, but um, fun at the same time. Um, we wanna make sure that it's as least stressful as possible for our students. Um, we do have the common application as most schools do, but we also still have our own Casanova College application. I tell everybody we do not prefer one over the other. Um, Applying is free. We require their academic transcript, personal statement, and recommendation. And I strongly encourage students with their personal statement to really tell us about anything that's not on their transcript. We want to know a significant experience. We want to know about the student. Um, so really spend some time um, crafting that personal statement so we can truly get a sense of you before we meet you. Kristen, um, we do have to move on. We do have to move on. Unfortunately, your time is up. We do have to move on to our round robin Q&A. Um, okay. But uh, please uh, make sure you can put some information in the chat if you'd like, but we are going to, I'm going to invite all of our folks uh, and pre, uh, 
excuse me, panelists to join me back on screen. Um, and we have time for um, our first question. And we'll go within the order of which you presented. What advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we'll start back with University of Southern Maine. Absolutely. So I guess my one piece of advice that I always like to uh, impart on students is really that um, we are we are literally employed by the universities that we work for to help students through this process. And so you are not alone in this. Um, and while you have a ton of uh, support with family and the people that in your life, as well as in your school, um, we're here to help you and we're here to have your back through this process. So feel free to reach out to us and get to know us. It truly is the highlight of our of our uh, jobs that we do. University of New Haven. My best piece of advice is once you know what schools you want to apply to, hit those deadlines. Keep a list, school name, what's the deadline, get everything submitted. That way you maximize getting into a program and the scholarships you're eligible for. University of Hartford. Uh, one piece of advice that I would give is to definitely get on campus and tour those campuses. Um, you know, you don't really know the feel of the school until you're really on campus. So we do encourage you guys to um, tour campus. University of Connecticut. Thank you. Oh, this panel is great. They know everything, uh, what to contribute. Um, check out websites, lots of great information at your fingertips. You don't have to uh, burn any gas traveling to go visit when it's right at your fingertips, but I empower you to definitely do your due diligence. Uh, the information is out there. Adelphi University. Uh, definitely through the whole process, just be yourself. The supplemental materials like your essays or letters of recommendation are great to show who you are that your academics don't. So really take advantage of those if you're sending them in. Casanova College. Go beyond the admissions office. Um, try to do your best to connect with professors from the program that you're interested in, coaches, um, and even current students. You'll find that many colleges and universities are more than willing to connect you. Um, we can tell you, give you a general overview of the college, but uh, we really want you to we want to immerse you in the community and you truly get a different point of view doing that. Our next question, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? Um, and briefly, we'll go through um, and starting with University of Southern Maine. Um, I guess the one thing that I want you to know is that um, affordable doesn't necessarily mean lesser in quality. Um, I think it's really important to understand um, kind of what you're getting into financially. Um, and so we really do pride ourselves in providing access to students um, with a quality education at an affordable rate. So take a look, do your numbers. Uh, it's really important as you make this decision. University of New Haven. University of New Haven is by the beach. Uh, but honestly, get onto the campuses, visit, check out the online, the virtual tours, because this is gonna be your home for the next three, four years, five years if you do a master's. Uh, so be happy with the location, with what's available around you as well. University of Hartford. Um, one thing is that we're very collaborative at the university, um, you know, whether it's with students and students or students and professors, um, you know, we do a lot of workshops and classes and we have companies coming in um, to work with you guys who so are very collaborative here at the university. University of Connecticut. Just remember, the reputation of the University of Connecticut will just stay with you forever. No pressure. Go Huskies. Adelphi University. At Adelphi, we really are a community. Uh, when you join us here as a student, you'll be joining a much larger family. And this is where you make those connections that'll help you get jobs after graduation, friends that you'll have forever. Um, and it's not just a slogan, it's you know, it's what we do at Adelphi and we're intimate enough that you can do that. In Casanova College. I would say inclusivity. Um, we are very student-centered. We want people who, to come here and feel like they belong here. Um, that is very important, uh, no matter where you're from or who you are that uh, you have a place at Casanova. Well, I wanna thank our wonderful presenters for their insight, their information on their institutions and for joining us. And thank you for tuning in and joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com backslash C-A-S-D-A-N-Y. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you.